Good afternoon, and thank you so much for joining me for this WNCT Now digital news update. I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio. As the biggest shopping day of the year is full steam ahead, Amazon employees and workers' rights groups are protesting the retail giant. Friday morning, hashtag make Amazon pay shot to the top of Twitter's trending board. Workers are protesting Amazon and owner Jeff Bezos, who in August became the first person to be worth over $200 billion. But employees and labor groups claim Amazon paid $0 in federal tax federal income taxes in 2018 and received a $129 million tax rebate in 2019. Amazon is seeing record profits with a 53% increase in revenue as customers in the pandemic are doing more shopping online. Amazon warehouse and delivery workers are now considered to have essential roles. Employees pay begins at around $15, though bonuses are not regular and total estimate COVID-19 compensation for workers is around $1,369. Workers in 15 countries are now protesting, calling for better pay and benefits. On Thanksgiving, Amazon announced it would be giving its frontline workers a $300 special recognition bonus. Holiday deals started rolling out early and people are excited as always for Black Friday shopping and Cyber Monday shopping. But now with a stricter mask mandate, will holiday shopping look different this year? Health officials are asking people to wear masks and now the state is requiring it. Officials say these restrictions may cause people to choose online shopping over in person this year. All shopping centers and stores will be requiring masks during shopping for the holidays. Those businesses are also stationing employees at entrances to enforce those rules. Health experts say more than 11.5 million Americans have tested positive for COVID-19, with more than a quarter million deaths. Here in North Carolina, nearly 1,800 people are hospitalized with the virus. So health officials say if you do choose to shop for the holiday deals in person this year, to make sure you wear your mask, wash your hands, stay home if you're sick, and adjust to the, make the right choices for yourself and your family members. Not on your sides, Camila Barco and Madeline Ashley will be live tonight at 5 and 6 with more on holiday shopping for this season. Stay with us. We'll be right back with some more news after this short break. Listen to What the Politics on the WNCT Podcast Network. New episodes weekly. Subscribe today on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Don't miss another episode of What the Politics on the WNCT Podcast Network, found under the Features section. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're just tuning in, I'm Emily Severidge, live in our digital studio, bringing you some late afternoon updates. WNCT is bringing you live streamed updates every Monday through Friday at 1.30 p.m. and 4 o'clock p.m. to bring you the latest and up-to-date news before our nightly newscast. A Nash County deputy is unresponsive after suffering serious injuries in a crash. 26-year-old Deputy Jared Allison was involved in a crash late last night on U.S. Highway 301 near May Drive in Rocky Mount. Allison had reportedly just completed a traffic stop and was about to make another one. He had his blue lights and sirens activated when his cruiser entered the nearby intersection and collided with another vehicle. The Nash County Sheriff says Allison appeared to avoid the crash, went into the median, hit a culvert and overturned his vehicle. The crash threw him out of the passenger side of his vehicle. Deputy Allison is in critical condition at Vidant Medical Center in Greenville. Nash County Sheriff say medics brought Allison to Vidant within 38 minutes, minutes of the crash with help from a state highway patrol escort. Allison's wife and nine-year-old son are in Greenville with him. A GoFundMe page has been created by members of the family. They've currently raised more than $3,400 since noon today. Police and deputies want people to beware of package theft this year, making sure their deliveries are safe. 
Investigators call them porch pirates, thieves who are already willing who are ready and willing to steal packages for, from your property. This is a year-round crime, but officials say the number of porch pirates goes way up around the holidays because more people are ordering things online. There are steps you can take to ensure that your package is safe. Police say set up specific times for delivery that can help minimize the chances of things being stolen. Also, making sure someone you trust is home during the expected time of delivery. Another tip is tracking your package online so you know exactly what day and what time it will arrive. Lastly, you can always add special instructions to your delivery and ask local delivery people to put your package in a more secure and hidden location. Well, that wraps up this WNCT Now late afternoon update. We have more news coming up for you tonight on our broadcast at 5 and 6. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.